I DIY'd my own storage by building these bench and lockers for my kids. Let me show you. So I have this awkward niche in my house. It serves no purpose except for gathering shoes and junk. And I have three kids. I need organization. And so I decided to turn this space to house all of the things, backpacks, jackets, shoes, all of it. So I decided to go with a bench, locker, shelf combo because then that way there's somewhere to put your shoes, to put your jackets and backpacks, somewhere to put your hats. And I knew that there was no way that my kids were actually gonna open and close doors with like a cabinet. So this open locker system was gonna work perfectly for us. So to start this game plan, I drew out my basic plan. Drawing, now you don't have to be like a perfect artist to do this. This is helpful for me because as I'm drawing, I can work out some of kind of the issues and see a general direction that I wanna go and make sure I get the scale right. So after you've made a sketch, pro tip, tape it out. I always like to visualize, this is where you get out most of your issues and there's no better way to visualize than by using painter's tape. It sounds silly, but as you're taping everything on the wall, you'll be surprised to kind of see like, oh, that needs to move up, that needs to move down. You get the scale right, you get the dimensions right, tape it out. So after I measured, I decided to use plywood to start my bench. Now I'm using plywood, it's a three quarter inch birch plywood. I found that birch stains nice and easily and I know I wanna stain this bench. I'm using it for the top of the bench and I'm using it for the supports. Now something that I always do before starting a project is remove the baseboards. Removing the baseboards allows for you to actually build it into the wall and not be working around anything. I wanted plywood on the sides to be my support for the bench and that baseboard was getting in the way. Just get it out, you can add it back in later. We are still double checking our game plan here before we fully commit. Do you see now why we're glad that the baseboards are gone? And once I get it all actually visualized, it's all looking like the right basic scale and measurement, so now I'm ready to go. So as I was building this bench, I realized that I wanted the supports and the legs to look more substantial, so I just took that three-quarter plywood and I actually sandwiched two together. I just stuck a few nails in them. So now all of my legs were two double three-quarter inch plywoods together. Now to make this look more sturdy and substantial, I also added one by two trim to the fronts of everything. So that means there's a one by two trim on the very front of the bench top. You'll see that a little bit extended out and overhanging the entire thing. And then I also trimmed out the actual legs and supports of it as well with the one by twos. That makes it so that the edges are nice and finished because the raw plywood edge is not necessarily the cutest. So with everything doubled up and then trimmed out, it's amazing how it completely transformed it. Now it looks thick, it looks sturdy, it looks built in, it looks like it was meant to be there. This is a bench that is now not going anywhere. Okay, we're done with the bench. We're moving on up to the lockers. First, I cut all of my locker pieces. I decided to use a one by 10 primed pine board. So the same with the bench. I'm taking all these pieces, these building blocks, and I am mocking this up to see if indeed I like this look. Before I'm committing and nailing everything to each other and to the wall, I've got my four lockers. I've got my little upper shelf with the four little cute places. Everybody's gonna stick their little hats. They don't wear hats, but now they will just because these are so cute. Now there's one thing that I decided to change. <laughs> which I changed before is the same thing where I thought that they looked a little bit flimsy. And so when I started putting this actually together, I doubled up the material again. I took two of those one by tens, I sandwiched them together, nailed them together, and I started on the right side. And I'm making sure that that is secure into the wall supports. And then I have some spacers to make sure that my lockers stay exactly the same distance. And I'm attaching those to the wall and then I'm attaching the in-between supports to that. So everything is kind of attaching to each other. We're finished with the lockers and we are still moving up. Now we are dealing with the top shelf, which I decided to build just on the ground on my own. Now I was making sure, again, I was going to double up the material so it had the same thickness and look of the lockers. Also, I was making sure it was square. Also, I was making sure that those divider points matched up with the lockers so that it all looked consistent and those lines just ran up and down. Um, assembling it on the ground made it easier for me because then I could just kind of bring it in myself. To attach this, I actually nailed from the base of it into the top of the locker area. I nailed from the sides into the wall. Does this look like a dance? Now I trimmed everything out. For the trim on the lockers and the shelves, I used a one by two primed pine board 
on the lower part, I had used one by two also. That way the entire look is consistent. It looks substantial, thick, built in. It just looks finished. Okay, this next step is what really made this whole area look complete. I decided to shiplap panel the entire back of this. Now I wanted each one of the lockers to kind of look consistent with the other ones. And so I mapped out how to do the paneling in each and then replicate it. So each one was gonna have three planks. I couldn't fit three full planks, so I had to shave down the left and right plank for each one. But um, I kind of treated each little locker like its own little unit. I had already had those boards back there to kind of keep everything stable and secure and give those shelves something to attach to. As I'm doing the shiplap, all I'm doing is just making sure that I'm nailing into the boards, I'm keeping the gaps consistent, and I know that at the end of this I'm gonna have a lot of finishing work, but look how gorgeous it looks. It's really coming together. The decorative trim, it is my favorite part of the project, but it was also the most challenging. I knew I wanted this space to be unique and I knew I wanted an arch, so I drew out a bunch of different ideas to figure out exactly what this space needed and I figured it out. So to cut this arch trim, I took a board, I think I used a one by six primed pine board and what I did is I marked out all the little locker cubbies so everything is divided into four sections and then I just knew I needed to figure out how to actually draw and replicate this arch pattern. So now the plan to actually draw my arches was I decided to use, I needed like a special unique arch shape which didn't exist. It's like not the size of a cup or a trash can. Believe me, I tried. I used a bendy flexible ruler and my thought was that if I got the arch exactly how I wanted it in one spot, I could measure and mark four different points along that arch and I could measure what it was vertically and like horizontally, like its little point. And then I could be able to replicate that arch in different lockers. And surprisingly, this bendy ruler actually really does a good job. Once I had my entire thing measured and marked, it was just a matter of cutting it. So I got my jigsaw skills ready, got my board clamped down so that it wasn't gonna move from me, and I very carefully cut out these shapes. <laughs> They're so cute. I sanded the edges to make them smooth, attached it up, and you guys, this is freaking cute. Like, it's freaking cute. I love these arches. I added another trim up top, and then I added trim pieces in between so the whole thing was trimmed out, but it looks gorgeous. This bench and lockers is the perfect solution for my family for our storage needs. And I have to tell you, since I know you guys have all been wondering, each kid has their own and they're actually each putting their shoes in their little cubbies, they're hanging their backpacks in their little lockers. All you need is to have just a cute space for them and then all of a sudden they're motivated. It solves all their problems. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. If you wanna catch other tutorials or projects like this, I'll link some other ones down below in the description, so make sure to check them out.